Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Brandon. My name is Resby Coots. I'm a member of the Curling Canada Board of Governors and a long time volunteer. My name is Resby Coots. I'm a long time, uh, born in Western Manitoba, a long time curling volunteer here in Manitoba, currently a member of the Manitoba or the Curling Canada Board of Governors. And before we get under day, underway with today's ceremony, it's a privilege for me on behalf of Curling Canada to pay tribute to Bob Pickin on behalf of both Curling Canada and the Tim Hortons Briar Committee. Who, Bob passed away within the last few weeks. He was a personal friend, a mentor, a professional role model. More important, however, he was a curler, a curling volunteer, and a dedicated curling media person. He covered his first briar right here in Brandon in 1963 in the old Wheat City Arena over on Victoria Avenue. He'd lost the Manitoba final, and he drew the assignment of covering the event for CGOB. His broadcast career included all sports. He's in nine halls of fame and honor roles, golf, baseball, football, hockey, the Manitoba Canadian and World Curling Halls of Fame. And curling was his great love. For OB and CBC, he covered countless provincial championships and bond spiels, from the youngsters to the old timers. He told the stories of the stars, the aspiring stars, the former stars, and the people who never had a hope of being stars, all with equal dedication to telling the story his listeners wanted to hear. He told the results and the scores and the athlete's stories in every possible radio format, from play-by-play -play and feature-length interviews in the days before curling television to shortened reports and eventually short 30-second hits as internet and social media began to make inroads into media styles. He came from the golden age of curling media when we knew legends like Jack Matheson, Cactus Jack Wells, Bill Good, Laurie Artis, Doug Maxwell, all including Bob, legends of our sport, all including Bob enshrined in the Canadian Curling Hall of Fame. Beyond the province, he reported on well over 50 Briars and Scotties and on 32 world championships. Away from the microphone, he was the Manitoba Curling Association president after serving as an executive member. He was the World Curling Federation's first media officer. Later in life, he was the longtime coordinator of the Manitoba Curling Tour, and as recently, a few months ago, still actively engaged as the organizer of Masters Curling at the Thistle Curling Club. He had a lifelong personal and professional love of the sport of curling, and we miss him. He broadcast from this arena many times, and on many occasions he was the master of ceremonies for the event, introducing the teams in a voice which once heard was always remembered. It was a voice which broke many a silence. And rather than allow silence to come into this arena today, I'm going to ask that you rise in a standing ovation in honor of the memory of a great friend of curling, Bob Pickin. Well, good morning, or gosh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Brandon and the 2019 Tim Hortons Briar. How's everybody doing today? Welcome into the arena, folks. My name is Stu Brown. I'm honored to be your MC for this morning, uh, this afternoon's opening ceremonies. I keep on getting knocked on the morning. Go ahead. Thanks, Stuart. Bonjour, Brandon, et bienvenue au Briar Tim Hortons 2019. Je m'appelle Vanessa Durand, et j'ai le plaisir d'être une de vos maîtres de cérémonie pour cet après-midi. We also like to begin by acknowledging that we are in Treaty 2 territory, and that the land on which we gather is traditional territory, Anishinaabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota, and Dene people, and the homeland of the Métis Nation. Le Briar Tim Hortons nous rassemble encore une fois cette année afin d'apprécier du curling exceptionnel ainsi que du bon temps en bonne compagnie. Curling Canada et Tim Hortons espèrent que les prochains neuf jours à Brandon seront mémorables pour vous. You're going to be able to witness our provincial and territorial champions battling to earn the title of Canada's Men's Championship. The privilege of representing Canada at the 2019 Pioneer World Men's Curling Championship, March 30th in Lethbridge, Alberta. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get this party started. Mesdames et messieurs, s'il vous plaît, joignez-moi pour, 
pour accueillir le corps de cornemuse et tambour du 26e régiment d'artillerie, Jamie McFadden, J.P. Riel, Doug Carmichael, Brian English et Rodney Addison. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our distinguished guests and sponsors. From Tim Hortons, title sponsor of the Briar since 2005, please welcome brand and restaurant owner Rhonda Party. De la province du Manitoba, le premier ministre Brian Pallister. Le député de Brandon Source, Monsieur Larry McGuire. Please welcome his worship, Rick Crest, Mayor of Brandon. From our presenting partner, AGI, Paul Brouard, Vice President, Farm Divisions. From Curl, Manitoba, please welcome the President, Darren Oriniak. Please welcome, from Curly Canada, Board of Governors Chair, Maureen Miller, and the Board of Governors Liaison to the 2019 Tim Hortons Briar, Resby Coots. As the event of this magnitude cannot be produced without a dedicated host committee and a multitude of volunteers, please welcome your vice chairs. Vice Chair of Hosting, Jackie Nichols. Vice Chair of Volunteers and Special Events, Ryan Shields. And the Vice Chair of Facilities, Nate Andrews. You may now be seated. I didn't know I had that power, but there you go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to start off with a few speeches, a few words from some of our great sponsors and dignitaries to start things off. Will you please welcome, representing Tim Hortons, please welcome Rhonda Party. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I can't begin to express my pride standing with you here this afternoon. Tim Hortons has a rich history of supporting curling in Canada from the sponsorship of premier events like this, to the Briar, to local curling programs. This is Tim Horton's 15th year as a title sponsor of this exciting event, and the third time the city of Brandon has hosted the Canadian Men's Curling Championship. Most recently, in 1982, Northern Ontario's Al Hackner captured his first of two Briar titles in an event that gave birth to the world famous Briar Patch. In 1963, it was a legendary Ernie Richardson capping his amazing run of four Canadian men's titles in five years. We are eagerly looking forward to the start of this year's exciting competition. As you can imagine, the thrill is even greater for all of us to be hosting Roar of the Rings here in Brandon. It is a great opportunity to showcase our wonderful city and province to curlers and fans from coast to coast. I am confident that our city will welcome this great event, as we do all others, with spirit, unprecedented attendance, and our famous warm and welcoming style. We have an incredible nine days ahead of us. The participation of some of Canada's finest curlers will certainly make this sport reach new heights, and what a pla better place to do it than right here in Brandon. It is quite an accomplishment just to participate in events such as the Briar. Lastly, the Briar would not be possible without the hard work and dedication of the hundreds of volunteers who donate their time and energy for the love of the sport. On behalf of everyone at Tim Hortons, our restaurant owners and team members, I would like to extend our congratulations and best wishes to all of the athletes for the competition ahead and thank you to the host, host committee and the city of Brandon. Your efforts uh, will certainly make the Tim Hortons 2019 Briar a sweeping success. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rhonda. And now, ladies and gentlemen, making your way up to the podium, will you please welcome the Premier, Mr. Brian Pallister. Welcome to the right place to play the Briar, right, ladies and gentlemen? Brandon, Manitoba. It's the seventh time we've hosted the Briar in Manitoba, and we have a tremendous record, and it is a tremendous honor to be with you all today as we celebrate the opening of the 2019 Tim Hortons Briar. 
First of all, I would like to acknowledge Mayor Rick Crest, our distinguished guests from Curl Canada, and the many volunteers from Brandon who worked so hard to make this event a reality. Let's show our appreciation to those many volunteers. I would also like to ex extend a very, very warm Manitoba welcome to the athletes, the coaches, the family members, the spectators who have come to join us this week as we again celebrate this great Canadian tradition. I'm also delighted to welcome and sincerely thank all of the officials, the organizers and sponsors who play such an important role in supporting this year's Briar. I know that Brandon's legendary hospitality will again lead the way in making this a fantastic week for everybody to enjoy and to remember. You won't find a bigger supporter of the sport of curling than the province of Manitoba. We know what this game means to Manitoba, how important it is to our people, our communities, and our identity as a province. We're very, very proud of our efforts in working with the city of Brandon to secure this event. We are very grateful to Curl Canada for supporting us in bringing the briar back to the Wheat City. Curling's roots in Manitoba run deep and strong. Whether you play recreationally at a local club or you compete on the world stage, Manitoba's passion for curling is clear and it is undeniable. We are a world leader in training elite curlers. We're a world leader in training top-level coaches, too, and the best ice makers and technicians the world has to offer. And we also possess some of Canada's most knowledgeable and passionate curling fans, many of who are with us today right now. We enjoy this sport. And curling fans know that this week we'll be treated to some of the finest curling that the world has to offer. And we know that the winner of the Briar is going to go on to compete as Team Canada at the World Championships. I want to I'd be remiss in not wishing Miss Carey the very, very best at the World Women's Championships and to offer our congratulations and let's applaud her and her team for their success this year. I've got to say that the best curling I've ever seen was on this ice and I hope to see even more of it this week as we all do. And I wanted to say I think the spectators this week may be the real winners because we are going to see some of the finest curling we have ever seen. Congratulations to the host committee, the sponsors, volunteers for all their support, their hard work, their commitment towards making this briar a tremendous experience, which it will be. I know that the people of Brandon and area are going to do a terrific job of making all the teams and their visiting family and friends and supporters feel welcome during their time in Manitoba. After all, we are friendly Manitoba, except when we're curling against teams from another province. I'll just close by saying thank you, all the best to everyone here and to all of those who will be joining us this week to participate in this tremendous event. And best of luck to all our teams and best wishes for everyone for a tremendous and terrific 2019 Tim Hortons Briar. Thank you, folks. Thank you very much, Premier Pallister. And now, ladies and gentlemen, making his way up to the podium, would you please welcome the Honorable Mayor of Brandon, Mayor Rick Crest. Rick. Thank you very much, uh, Stuart. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is a dream come true, a long time in the making. As you've heard, the last time that Brandon has the fortune to host the uh, Briar was in 1982, so it's uh, 37 years upon its return. As we know, the Brandon and Western Manitoba and this province in general is a hotbed of curling. Brandon has hosted pretty much every championship, and we are very honored and privileged to be once again hosting the Tim Hortons Briar. We're extremely grateful to Curling Canada for having chosen Brandon as the host, and we're very pleased to have had the province of Manitoba partner with the city of Brandon to have bid for the briar and indeed succeed in having it come to this great city. Thank you very much, Premier Brian Pallister. As testimony to how much curling means to this province, this province elected a curler as our premier, and I don't mind telling you, he's a little vibrating out here. He'd rather be playing in here because he's uh, 
even more adept at being in the hack than he is behind a microphone. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank all of the organizing committee led by the co-chairs Nate Andrews, Ryan Shields, and Jackie Nickel, all of their committee chairs, and the several hundred volunteers that have come together to make this a reality. As well, all of the sponsors, both national, especially Tim Hortons, national, regional, and local, who certainly have to make this happen. The broadcaster, well, right on, thank you very much. The broadcasters, and last but not least, all of the athletes. And in a minute, you're gonna be meeting all of them, including a great many past participants of the Briar, and we're very proud to see all of them. And you'll be pleased to see that all of their sweaters still fit, which I find to be quite miraculous. So ladies and gentlemen, we're looking forward to a fabulous week ahead. Please enjoy Brandon's hospitality. We're very proud and happy to have you. Have a great week and great curling. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Mayor Crest. And now representing AGI, our presenting sponsor, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Paul Bribois. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the AGI team, welcome to the 2019 Tim Hortons Briar. We are honored to be the presenting partner for this week of world-class curling. AGI takes great pride in being associated with Canadian athletes, Curling Canada, and the Briar. It's especially meaningful to be here in Brandon. AGI started 23 years ago with one brand in Western Canada. We now have over 30 brands sold across the world, some of which you will see on the banners this week with West Steel, Bas Batco, and Westfield. AGI would like to acknowledge all of the volunteers who have dedicated countless hours to ensure this will be a world-class event. We'd like to congratulate all of the participants that are representing their province, territory, and Team Canada. At AGI, we believe hard work pays off, and all of you have clearly demonstrated this. Welcome to the celebration of great curling in Canada. We are pleased to join you in the stands to cheer on these incredible athletes. And to all competitors, good luck and good curling. Thank you. Thank you very much, Paul. And now, ladies and gentlemen, representing Curling Canada Board of Governors, would you please welcome the event chair, Maureen Miller. Bonjour, good afternoon, Brandon. On behalf of the Board of Governors and the staff of Curling Canada, I'm delighted to welcome you to the 2019 Tim Horton Briar here in Brandon, the birthplace of the Briar Patch. Yeah, it's a good thing, right? <laughs> we all know there were a lot of people who made this happen, and I'm going to talk about some of them today. We had the pleasure of working alongside our friends at Tim Horton since 2005 and their influence on this event and their support for curling can't be understated. I know I echo the thoughts of all of our athletes when I express our deepest gratitude to Tim Hortons and to Brandon restaurant owner, Rhonda Party, who is with us here today. Our host committee vice chairs, Jackie Nickel, Ryan Shields and Nate Andrews are not only hard workers, they're also very good at putting together a wonderful hosting bid. And that's what it took to bring the 2019 Tim Hortons Briar to Brandon. Yeah. There is also a dedicated group of more than 475 volunteers who have donated their time and skills to make this event a great success for all of us. And also to Manitoba Premier and 2001 Manitoba Mixed Champion Brian Pallister. Brandon Mayor Rick Crest, Brandon Suris Member of Parliament Larry McGuire, and our partners at Curl Manitoba, thank you for hosting us this week in this wonderful facility and this vibrant city. <laughs> to the Curling Canada National Staff, officiating team, statisticians, and ice techs, thank you for all of your efforts in making a fair playing field for all the competitors. I want to acknowledge all of our Season of Champion partners, as well as the many local business sponsors here in West Manitoba region. It can't be stated too often that without all of you, we would not be able to hold this great event. 
And finally, a congratulations to all of our athletes and coaches competing here. All of your work and training have brought you here today, but your family, friends, and fans all look forward to the next nine days of great and spectacular shots. I wish each of you the best of luck on the ice. To everyone, enjoy the excitement of the week. Bon chance, good curling, and good luck. Thank you very much, Maureen. And now, ladies and gentlemen, representing the host committee, would you please welcome Vice Chair of Facilities, Mr. Nate Andrews. Wow, 37 years ago, I was standing in this building up on that concourse right there, but I was getting my picture taken with Briar Bear. I was six years old. Um, my mom was chasing me around. I'm sure I was more concerned about what she might get me from the canteen than what was going on in the ice, but the reason she was chasing me is because my late father was standing in the same spot that I am today as vice chair of that. So it's a great honor for me to be here today to welcome everybody here. <laughs> to Tim Hartons, uh, AGI, there's so many sponsors, we can't list them all, but without their financial support, these things aren't even able to get off the ground. So what we're able to do with those guys financially supporting this event, just a huge thank you to them too. <laughs> to the fans, this is what makes this event so special. I remember looking at pictures, I've got old videos of this place filled up and the energy in this, this arena when this place is full is second to none. I fully understand that this TV or this event is, is uh, great to watch in TV, but keep spreading the word that being here in the stands is something that you just can't replicate. Whether you're from around the area or if you've traveled far, we welcome you. Uh, we know that you're going to see some of the best curling that you're able to see and take advantage of that while you're here. We're also very proud that this is the birthplace of the uh, world famous patch. Uh, yeah. Yeah. learning more about its history all the time and it's pretty neat how it originated but the, the great thing about this facility is that you're a two minute walk away from having a hot meal, cold beverage and some great entertainment in between draws so take full advantage of the great facility that we have to offer you here. Uh, to the players, um, man this game has come a long way. I remember you know growing up watching curling you know, I mean, the, the way the ice makers get the ice ready now is just truly phenomenal but uh, we're about to see some spectacular curling. The, the work and energy that those guys put in to get to the level that they're at today is, uh, is just tremendous. Um, you know, unfortunately there, there might be 15 other teams that aren't wearing yellow jackets with buffaloes that we might be rooting for, the guys that are. Uh, but for all of them, all I wish them is the best that they are able to bring their A game this week and leave it here on the ice in Brandon. Um, finally, um, it just, it's been a long ride. I mean, Jackie Nickel was part of this with Brandon first over five years ago. And just on behalf of myself, Ryan and Jackie, 475 of the most fabulous volunteers you could ever imagine, welcome to Brandon. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nate. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Briar is gonna be awarded the magnificent Briar Tankard. And today they are brought in by Bombardier, it is brought in, pardon me, by Bombardier Connor Coleman from the 1st Royal Canadian Horse Artillery Regiment and Sergeant Nick Rayner from the 2nd Battalion Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry. Maintenant, s'il vous plaît, accueillir chaleureusement les équipes participantes menées par la garde du drapeau consacré de la base des Forces canadiennes de Shiloh. And ladies and gentlemen, please give a roaring brand and welcome to the teams participating in this year's Tim Hortons Briar, featuring placards carried by the Westman Special Olympic Curling Team.
Making the way into the arena now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Team Manitoba. With Mike McEwen, Reed Crothers, Derek Selmogowski, Colin Hodgson, Matt Wozniak, and Rob Meekin. Please welcome Team British Columbia with Jim Cotter, Steve Laycock, Tyrell Griffiths, Rick Sawatsky, and Brad Wood. Making the way to the arena, please welcome Team Yukon with John Solberg, Robert Smallwood, Clinton Abel, Scott Odeon, David Ratch, and Larry Snow. Please welcome Team Alberta with Kevin Cooey, BJ Newfeld, Golden Flash, Ben Hebert. From Yellowknife, Team Northwest Territories. Please welcome the skip, Jamie Cooey, David Aho. Matt Ng, Cole Parsons, Shadrick McLeod. Please welcome Team Nunavut with David St. Louis, Peter Mackey, Jeff Nadeau, Lloyd Kendall, and Barry Westman. Please welcome Team Saskatchewan with Kirk Myers. Kevin Marsh, Daniel Marsh, Dallin Myers, and Lyle Myers. Please welcome Team Northern Ontario with Brad Jacobs, Ryan Fry, EJ Harden, Ryan Harden, Lee Toner, and Adam Kingsbury. Please welcome Team Ontario with Scott McDonald, Jonathan Buke, Wesley Forger, Scott Chadwick, Jeff Grant, and Sean Turriff. Et maintenant, l'équipe du Québec, Martin Crête, Philippe Lemay, Eric Sylvain, Philippe Ménard, Philippe Brassard et Robert Ménard. Et maintenant, veuillez accueillir l'équipe du Nouveau-Brunswick. Terry Odishaw, Jordan Pinder, Mark Lecoq, Grant Odishaw et Jamie Brennan. Please welcome Team Nova Scotia with Stuart Thompson, Colton Steele, Travis Coulter, Taylor Ardeal, Phil McPhee et Kevin Patterson. And in the arena right now, please welcome team Prince Edward Island with John Likely, Anson Carmody, Steve Burgess, Robbie Doherty, and Matt Neighbors. Please welcome team Newfoundland Labrador with Andrew Simmons, Chris Ford, Adam Bullard, Keith Jewer. Rick Wazell and Craig Jewer. Please welcome Team Wildcard with Brendan Botcher, Darren Molding, Brad Thiessen, and Karak Martin. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Team Canada! With Brad Gushu, Mark Nichols, Brett Gallant, Jeff Walker, Tommy Sallows, and Jules Oucher.
You know, Tim Hortons actually continues to be a great supporter of curling in Canada. This year marks the 15th year of sponsorship of the Canadian Men's Curling Championship. We're also very grateful out there for the support of our presenting sponsor, AGI. But now, ladies and gentlemen, joining us in the home end, please welcome the West Bend Curlers, who have won and actually worn Manitoba Colors representing our province in the Men's Curling Championships. From 2012, Manitoba champions from the Branded Curling Club, please welcome the skip, Rob Fowler. The third, Alan Lyburn. We also have out on the ice lead, Derek Sobolgowski. Richard Deneau, unfortunately unable to attend today. For the 2004 Manitoba champions from the Swan River Curling Club, please welcome the skip, Brent Scales. Representing third, Gord Hardy, his wife, Lisa Hardy. Unfortunately, Gord passed away in March of 2018. Please welcome the second, Grant Spicer, and lead, Todd Trevelyan. The 1990 Manitoba champions from the DeLorean Curling Club. Please welcome the skip, Dwayne Edwards. Third, Kelly McBeachin. Second, Don Williams, and the lead, Jack Edwards. For the 1987 Manitoba champions from the Brandon Curling Club, please welcome the skip, Brian Fowler. The third, Keith Kyle. Second, Dale Wallace. And the lead, Gary Poole, was unable to attend today. For the 1982 Manipo Manitoba champions from the Soros Curling Club, please welcome the skip, Mel Logan. The third, Doug Armour. The second, Lloyd Lang. And the lead, Alan Granger. Ladies and gentlemen, now time for the ceremonial first rock. We like to call upon the skip, Mel Logan, to hold the broom. Third, Doug Armour. We need you to go to the away end to get ready to deliver the stone. Sweepers, we're gonna have Rob Fowler and Alan Lyberg. Gentlemen, take your positions, please. So once again, Mel, you're gonna be holding the broom. Rob and Alan, you're gonna be sweeping. Throwing is going to be Doug. So Doug, if you can make your way all the way up to the other end. Okay, Mel. Feel free to get on the ice if you're okay. Or simply just point where you want it to go. All right, let's take a look down the ice. Getting into the hack right now is gonna be Mel. Our Doug is gonna be getting up. You're all set to go. You want a broom? Here you go, Mel. Do you feel comfortable having a broom out there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, good, you're good, all right. All right, Mel. Go out there, put the broom down, give Doug something to aim at. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Broom is set. Doug is in the hack. Doug, when you're ready, oh, he's calling way out, way out, way, way out. I think we have to go over to sheet B for as far out as he wants to go. Okay, he seems happy. Okay, Rob, Al, you all set to sweep? Here we go, folks, the ceremonial rock. The release, here it comes. There seems to be a pick on the ice. And it hits the button, covers it up. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please a big round of applause for our ceremonial rock throwing team. Stuart, what a treat to see these champions back on the ice. Uh, it's amazing to be able to see them back on the ice throwing rocks and pinning it on the button. Nicely done, gentlemen, nicely done. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats for the singing of our national anthem sung by Josephine Molenbeek. Mesdames et messieurs, s'il vous plaît, vous levez pour notre hymne national qui sera chanté par Josephine Molenbeek. Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all of us command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. Thank you, Josephine. Thank you very much. J'inviterai maintenant du conseil d'administration de Curling Canada, M. Resby Coots, à déclarer l'ouverture du Briar Tim Hortons 2019. On behalf of Curling Canada and the committee, this event is officially underway. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to turn your attention to the Tim Hortons Championship banner that's hanging up right at the home end. It'll actually be hanging in the Westova place for the duration of this competition. Well, good luck to all the curlers out there. I hope you're going to have an enjoyable week. Mesdames et messieurs, ceci conclut la cérémonie d'ouverture. Nous tenons à vous rappeler que le programme numéro 1 débutera dès cet après-midi à 14h et le numéro 2 ce soir à 19h. Enfin, The Patch ouvrira tous les jours à midi. Now, thanks very much, ladies and gentlemen. That does wrap our, our opening ceremonies itself. Just a reminder, all the players, uh, lead through Skip, we're going to need you down at this end for your photo opportunity. Uh, we'll be directing that in just a few minutes. On behalf of everyone, folks, don't forget, patch opens up anew. First draw is going to be at 2 o'clock. Second draw tonight is going to be at 7. Let's have a party time right here in Brandon, folks. We'll see you in the patch. <laughs>